My name is Bill Bontoft and uh, I was born in Lincolnshire at a place called Binbrook and uh, my father was a rabbit catcher and uh, always carried a stick all his life. My stick making started with me scrounging at father for a stick uh, and he would pull a stick out the edge and say there you are boy that'll do for now. Uh, as I progressed and got a little bit older and uh, got my own pocket knife and one thing or another uh, father said well you can get your own now boy I make mainly working sticks not show sticks thumb sticks uh, made from antler made from wood uh, I make knob sticks I make I, I use buffalo horn I use ram's horn um, all the different things I do make traditional shepherd's crooks uh, for shepherds to use I've never advertised at all, apart from just having a, a notice hung at my gate saying that I am a stick maker. Uh, I, I'm 72 and, and unfortunately I'm coming towards the end of stick making. OK, I've probably another 20 years yet. Well, hopefully I have anyway. But uh, yeah, I, 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 I love teaching younger people, showing younger people what I do. I've taught numerous people and uh, the last person I really taught uh, was a gentleman that lives in Holland and he comes to see me about twice a year uh, and he was so thrilled that I'd done it that he could carve he couldn't he didn't know how to make sticks but he could carve and he was wonderful at carving and uh, he and his wife came over about 18 months ago and uh, uh, his wife had asked him to make me a stick uh, as a present for teaching him to make walking sticks and uh, when he came over he'd made a shepherd's crook out of wood and he'd carved the Lincoln imp sitting on the nose of the crook all out of one piece of wood and to my knowledge there's two in the world I've got one and he's got the other and it is the most fabulous thing you could ever see I'm so so proud of that stick I am <laughs>